I lost my spot. This will get edited out. Okay, here we are. Um, I'm going to play through this uh, through this scale. It's all the natural notes in first position on the guitar neck. Um, remember, first position is when our first finger is on the first fret. So we will start at C. We'll play a C major scale up. We'll extend it up to a G. We'll play it back down and then extend it down to a low open E and then play back up to a C. I'm going to play it really slowly. Name the notes as I play them. I'm also going to try to hold my hand back so you can see how I'm playing them. Although you will have a, a, a scale diagram uh, on the handouts that I've given you. C, D, E, F, open G, A, B, O. Do over, poem. Here we go, take three. Hi, this is a, a I'm going to play through the open, not the open, the natural notes on in first position of the guitar. First position, first finger at the first fret, second finger plays the second fret, third finger plays third fret. Basically, we'll start on a C major scale. We'll play up to a G, we'll play back down, past a C, all the way down to an open E then back up to C. So we're in the key of C. Um, here we go. It's hard for me to call out the names and play, but I'll try. C. Open D. E. F. Open G. A. Open B. C. D. Open E. F, G, F, open E, D, C, open B, A, open G, F, E, uh, D, open D, C, uh, uh, B, open A, G, F, open E, F, G, open A, B, C. So that's kind of stumbling through it. When you play it, when you play it smoothly, it would be, it would sound like this. And you do not have to play it fast. Remember, slow and clean will equal fast and clean. Fast and sloppy will always just equal fast and sloppy. Slow and clean. And I'm playing it all with downstrokes with my pick. There you go. So that's it. Um, my um, sorry, my laptop locked up. Ah, my screen locked. There we go. I still think it recorded. Um, sorry for the hesitancy there. Uh, mm, my tempo wasn't very even, uh, but I made it through it for you so you can see what it sounds like. You have the chord diagram. Learn those pitches, learn the names of those pitches, learn what those pitches look like on a musical staff. You also have that information on the PDFs, the handouts that I'm giving you that are in this lesson module. Um, then there's another sheet that says uh, C major chords and arpeggios, something like that. Um, that's another exercise that you can start working on. Learn this first. I know some of you know it already. Uh, some of you need to learn it. If you know it already, practice taking it up tempo, but still keep it clean. Don't want to hear sloppy playing. Nobody wants to hear sloppy playing. Nobody has ever, you've never heard anybody go, oh man, that guitarist, they played so fast and sloppy. 
No, the sloppy is never part of it. You never hear anybody go, oh man, they just play so slow. No, you, no they're playing with feeling. They're playing with intent, uh, nuance, all that kind of stuff. But if they're sloppy regardless of what, if you're sloppy regardless of what speed you're playing, nobody's going to want to listen to you. That's the difference between a good guitarist and an awesome guitarist is how clean they can play, not how fast they can play. Uh, so work on that. Uh, work on that this week. And next week I'll introduce the arpeggio part of it. I went ahead and gave it to you for those of you that already know that scale pretty well. Um, so yeah, be working on that as we work on music theory. There's not another music theory lesson this week. So um, till next time, keep on picking. Bye-bye.